guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius and Sagittarius this is your month ahead February 2015 general tarot reading. So Sagittarius, um, your cards for February uh, really kind of say to me that there has been some form of choice or there's going to be a form of choice that you're going to need to make and it's going to be a difficult one but in the end hopefully you'll come out the other side okay your cards this month for february suggest to me that um that you're feeling stuck in something you're feeling stuck in a decision that you can't make that you don't want to make and you're trying to find a way forward for some of you guys, you might be feeling stuck in the past. For some of you guys, it might be someone from your past who you're trying to make a decision over. Let me show you the cards. The first two cards are the Lovers and the Ace of Swords. Now, straight away, this kind of said to me that this is an emotional thing that's going on with you guys. There's some form of emotion here. And even though the Ace... Even though the sword suit really does deal with sort of um, thinking logically a lot of the time, it's it, it, the, the sword suit is about kind of going through things like challenges and obstacles and that type of thing and having to use kind of your mind over your heart to resolve a situation. That's really what the, the sword suit kind of in action depicts. And with the lover's card, it suggested to me that for some of you guys, it could be potentially in February that there is a situation. I, I'm getting the feeling that it's around a relationship, but it might be around, you know, a love relationship, but it could be around any relationship, your work relationships, um, your family relationships, whatever the relationship is, it all kind of encompasses how we feel as people. So it suggests to me that there is a choice that some of you are going to have to make or some of you are already sort of in the process of making. And that potentially for some of you guys, there could be a new beginning coming in, but that new beginning may be coming through uh, a challenge. So there might be a difficulty or an obstacle. For you. But let's not use the word difficulty. It might be a case of that the choice that you have to make is, feel, is going to feel a little bit difficult for you to make. Okay. And as I always say, uh, I like to use hypothetical kind of situations here, but judging by the other cards... I'm thinking that this is kind of potentially something to do with a love relationship or a relationship that's very close to your heart. Could be work, could be anything, but there aren't really any ones cards that are here. There are uh, a couple of cups cards. There are two swords cards, including this one. No, three swords cards, including this one. And there's a pentacle cards and also a major arcana card. Okay. So this really says to me that there is a choice. There's something going on where you're finding potentially that there is a difficult choice for you to make. But you know you've got to make it. It's presenting some form of a challenge to you or it will be for prevent, uh, presenting some form of a challenge to you in the month of February. Okay. And that you uh, kind of, I suppose, need to kind of have that clarity of thought going on. Because the sword suit is all about kind of diffusing situations okay kind of coming through situations but having to think kind of uh, be kind of firm and be kind of you know rock steady in your decisions because it's paired up with the lovers card it suggests to me that the choice that potentially some of you have got you guys are kind of thinking about is going to be something that comes through a little bit of difficulty okay but in order to achieve a new beginning or to move on to another path there might be some kind of challenge presented with that choice and it might be a difficult choice for you to make. And also with the lover's card, I mean, the lover's card really is a card that, you know, it not only talks about kind of love relationships in our lives and um, and the people around us, whether that be a love relationship or a relationship with your family. It's it's all about kind of human relationships um, and, and choosing paths. But it also says that if, the, if there is a choice to make with the lover's card, that choice sometimes can be a little bit difficult too. So with both of these cards backing each other up, it does definitely suggest to me that potentially for some of you guys, there will be a choice for you to make 
in February or even going on from now that is going to present some form of difficulty or challenge to you from an emotional standpoint. And the next two cards were even more interesting to me because it's the King of Cups and the Three of Swords. So when I tied this in, the King of Cups is a very sort of... Um, he's very caring, he's very warm. He's the ideal sort of husband material. He's really kind of emotionally balanced, but he's taken time to get to that point, you know, because he's been through a lot in life. And, you know, he's very kind of... Um, he's very much on an even kill with his emotions, you know. He can be... A slightly detached person he can be a little bit aloof he can be quite shy but he's also a very loving individual okay he's the type of guy that you'd find in things like um like a social worker or a counselor or that type of thing in terms of what he would do as a as a job in the modern world but internally you know he's a very very caring type of guy and um but in his personality he can be a little bit kind of aloof at times um and i'm just wondering if for some of you guys this is potentially a situation because we've got the three of swords with this which can denote things like a little bit of heartbreak separation it doesn't necessarily have to be you know a permanent separation but it, it does denote things like separation and that could be in your relationship it could be that maybe you know your partner is away at the moment that type of thing i'm getting the feeling that around these two cards that for some of you Sagittarians, there is someone potentially in your life or who has just moved out of your life and that is causing some form of distress or upset with the Three of Swords. There could be some arguments going on in your relationship, um, which is why we get these two cards, the Lover and the Ace of Swords, making a choice, making a choice on whether you want to go down a certain path with this person or, person, or whether you want to go through want to go your own way and that's pot potentially presenting the challenge to some of you guys the choice that you need to make is a difficult one because i'm getting the feeling with this king of cups that he he's someone potentially in your life or as i've said who's just moved out of it and there is a little bit of upset around that with the three of swords and remember this is a general reading guys so i'm kind of musing over this okay you'll be able to fill in the details and please feel free to comment after this after this reading but there is some kind of upset going on here with the fact that this person has either moved out of your life or you're trying to reach a choice whether you want to stay with this person or whether you want to leave it. But this King of Cups, um, it would very much seem, is in the picture. Okay, I don't think this is representing your emotion. It could represent your emotion that you need to come from a kind of emotionally balanced viewpoint with this situation with your choices as well as the logic but I think, certainly think that this is someone this represents someone for some of these Sagittarians and that there is kind of some difficulty going on with the relationship or this person has moved out of the relationship now or you're making a choice as to whether you want to move on from them or you want to stay and then we had interestingly enough the six of cups and the ten of pentacles now the six of cups is very much a card about kind of um, past relationships coming back in. Okay. Um, and it's very much a card about previous situations coming back into our lives. It's very much a card about being nostalgic, looking back to past situations with rose tinted glasses and really kind of looking back to the way things were. The Ten of Pentacles is a card about abundance. So it can be financial abundance, but because... We have so many cards here that are filled with emotion. The lovers, the Ace of Swords. The sword suit isn't a, isn't a suit that's based on emotion, but really it derives from that because when we're faced with challenges, our emotions can either go one way or the other. We either want to face those challenges so our emotions become very um, firm and very staid and very strong, or we want to run away from them and our emotions become very fearful. So really, to me, the sword suit is rooted in emotion anyway, in in, in, a, in a kind of way, even though it, the, the sword suit talks about kind of using your logic and clarity and, you know, trying to find a clear path forward to resolve situations. Again, it's all rooted in the human experience and the human experience is founded on emotion. 
So all of these cards, right from the Lovers, the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups to the Three of Swords, all say to me a story about someone who's leaving your life or someone who you're considering leaving or they might be considering leaving you and there's some heartbreak around it and you have a choice to make and that choice comes through having to face a challenge, a challenging situation. You, some of you guys are in a challenging situation. You're having to kind of decide where you want to go, which way is best for you. And it could be for some of you guys that you're looking back to the past situation with this person. You're saying to yourself, you know, we had a really good time. You know, the relationship was really fulfilling because the Ten of Pentacles, even though it's the Pentacle suit is all to do about the material, all to do with the material world and um, money and abundance and inheritances and windfalls and all of that thing. When I look at it within this suit, of, within this um, set of cards, this isn't about money as such to me. It could be, but it's not. When I look at it sort of associated with the other cards, it's saying to me that this this was a time of abundance for some of you guys emotionally within your family so it could be that some of you guys are looking back to the past at a time when you were feeling very abundant within your relationship and you're simply trying to make a decision on that do i stay within this because the relationship was so good and i was so happy or do i leave from it because we have the three of swords and there's things that aren't going on that are quite right at the moment i'm feeling down i'm feeling upset about this do i stay with it or do i leave it because this is how i'm feeling now and this is how i was feeling then or it could simply be a case of that this person has moved out of your life okay they have moved out you've made a choice or you're making a choice um as to whether they should move out but then they could simply resurface again in february and there could be a feeling of abundance within that within this person, this same person coming back in again, potentially. When I look at these cards, it's, it's such an interesting story because it shows me, Sagittarius, in one way or the other, that you're confused slightly about this, that your emotions are kind of a little bit all over the place. On the one hand, you want to stay with it. On the other hand, you're kind of, your, your intuition is telling you, do I want to stay with it? Because I kind of feel stuck in something. I feel kind of stuck in this this rot of emotion, do I want to stay, do I want to go, what do I want to do? But it, I think with these two cards here, it's either that someone's moved out of your life and they're coming back in and there will be a certain amount of happiness around that for a time. Or it's a case of that you're still trying to make your choice on what you want to do with this within this relationship. And potentially also that this person is still around you. And you're still thinking, you're thinking to yourself, do I, you know, we're having, we have good times, but then we have a lot of bad times. So I want to still want to stay with it. You know, do I still want to stay with this hurt, with this pain that is depicted in the Three of Swords? To me, this could even mean potentially that, you know, we have our King of Cups here. We have our Three of Swords here. And the Three of Swords can sometimes know that there's three people in the relationship. Maybe there's you and a couple of other people. And the other person that's come back in is from your past. And it's this person here represented in the Six of Cups that you do feel really good around. But then you've also got this person here. The three of you. And there's pain there. And then we have these two cards here where you're needing to make a choice and it's difficult. It's a challenge for you in making that choice. Do I make a choice between the one person or do I make a choice between the other? To me, this is all about choices. This is definitely this, this, this reading. Potentially for some of you guys, you're going to have a choice. And I think it's centred around a relationship. Somebody's either still in your relationship and there's a third person there that you potentially are thinking, do I want to be with that person or this person? Or potentially that person's left already and there's heartbreak around that and you're wanting them back through the Six of Cups. Potentially they could come back. There could be a little bit of happiness there for a time. Or potentially it's simply just a choice that you need to make whether you want to hold on to something and you're thinking back to the past and how good things used to be. Could be threefold. Could go either way. And the final two cards, Sagittarius, that I want to show you for the month of uh, February that came up for you guys is the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords, okay? So the High Priestess, again, is a card about kind of um, using your inner wisdom, using that kind of inner knowing, that inner kind of, um, that intuition, okay, that we all have. 
what does my intuition tell me? What does my gut feeling tell me? It, this card can also represent secrets being revealed, a veil being lifted. Something coming to the fore, something, a, a sense of enlightenment, okay? So it could be that some of you guys are feeling a sense of enlightenment by the end of February. This is what I'm going to do. I'm still feeling scared, I'm still feeling frightened about this situation that would come along with the Eight of Swords. But I must follow my intuition. This could also be about kind of lifting the veil on something, maybe some secret being revealed here for you guys. About this relationship, okay? Maybe there's something that you haven't covered. Maybe there's something that's been uncovered, okay? To me, the Eight of Swords is always a card about feeling stuck in something. Feeling stuck, and I think that you are feeling stuck for some of you guys, because we have the Lover's card and the Ace of Swords, okay, which representing to me, looking at these other four cards here in the centre, that are representing to me that you are having to make a decision. And there's a challenge with making that decision. There's some form of difficulty around that decision that you're looking to make. Okay, you want to stay, but then you want to go. And you're feeling stuck in that, which would come along with the Eight of Swords. So I think... For you guys during the month of February, Sagittarius, there is a decision for some of you guys to make potentially. The decision is bittersweet, I think, potentially for some of you guys. I, th I think that potentially there is someone involved in this who is the King of Cups. It could be a man or a woman because it's a general reading. Someone that you very much cared about or care for. But there's difficulties around that relationship with the eight, with the uh, Three of Swords. Potentially you guys are looking back to the past, a time when things were more abundant for both of you emotionally. Or it could be with the Three of Swords, there's, there's three of you involved in the relationship. Somebody's come back from the past to rock the boat, you know? Someone that you feel really good around in the Ten of Pentacles. But there's a choice to make with this, you know? You need to use your intuition. You need to kind of leave, lift that veil. What is it that you're suppressing down? What is it that you're holding down? Because you're feeling stuck with this. You're feeling stuck in this kind of, I don't know what to do. You're suppressing something. You're suppressing potentially the reality. You're not facing the truth of it. You're not facing the facts. You need to be more clear in your head as to what you want to do. And that comes along also with the Ace of Swords. This card is about facing the facts, facing the truth of a situation, facing up to reality. So what is your reality? What is the reality of the situation? You're feeling stuck because you're not facing up to, you're not listening to your intuition with the High Priestess. These two cards are saying to me that you need to release yourself. You can release yourself by listening to your intuition, by lifting that veil of suppression, of fear. By letting it out. All in all, Sagittarius, what I would say about this reading, it's not a bad reading at all. If it resonates with any of you guys, and I think it will resonate with some of you because this is a very strong reading again. Very strong. And I would say that, you know, the decision at the end of the day is yours. You've got to do what is best for you. But if any of you guys are feeling stuck in a situation, you can't make a choice, you're feeling uncomfortable about making a choice. Whether that's in a love relationship, whether that's in a work relationship, whatever the relationship is that you're feeling stuck in making a choice in, then February is really the time to do it. That's what this reading is generally saying to me. You're not making a choice because the it's almost like you've imposed this restriction on yourself, okay? And you need to kind of release it, and the way that you can release it is by facing the truth. And you face the truth within your High Priestess and you face the truth within your Ace of Swords. It's about facing up to reality. Okay? Owning your feelings. Owning the truth of the situation. If something potentially for some of you guys isn't working out, then you need to face up to the reality of that and then make a choice either way. But one thing I will say, guys, is that with the Lover's card, this card really denotes that whatever path you choose to go on really will be the right and successful path for you. 
So guys, I'd like to say thank you very much for joining me on that reading and I will see you on your next reading, which should be your March general reading. See you then and take care.